Hi, my name is Kevin Poe and I'm a Dark Ranger. Dark Rangers are a group of people that are sworn to heighten awareness about the spread of light pollution to protect the night skies for astronomy, for ecological benefit, and for human health. All the artificial light that humanity creates, whether it's street lights or car lights or the burning of fuel at refineries, it all adds to an artificial amount of light in a nighttime world. And this makes it really hard for different kinds of nocturnal animals to survive. We have problems with migration of birds. We have uh, problems with sea turtles. It's an ecological detriment to not be more careful with how much light we put into the nighttime world. Light pollution is, uh, is pretty powerful stuff. It's, it's just amazing how fragile darkness is. In a place like Bryce Canyon, they say that if you have no lights at all, you can see about 7,500 stars. But if you put up just one street light and you're anywhere near that light where you can see it, that number goes down to about 2,500 stars that are visible. We've been able to measure with some sophisticated computer equipment the light domes of, of Las Vegas or other big cities that extend over 200 miles. Uh, well beyond the curvature of the earth. So light can be pretty powerful because darkness is so fragile. One of the first things that people are concerned about when we try to encourage them to be more careful with light is safety. And there's this, um, what should we say, common sense notion that the more light you have, the safer you are. And fortunately, like most things in life, it's not been scientifically tested, or at least the science that has been done has not been correctly applied. Uh, there's a great study that was done a few years back outside of the main city of London. Some of the neighborhoods where they were able to compare social political uh, characteristics to find neighborhoods that were very, very similar one to the other. And they went around and doubled the amount of light in one particular neighborhood, leaving another one at the same amount for a control. And they found out that when they doubled the amount of light, they actually got a doubling in the amount of crime. So as they're interviewing the burglars and the muggers, one of the questions they were asking was, you know, hey, why were you guys hitting that one neighborhood? so hard and the answer for the most part was well we just felt a lot safer there because of all the extra light when you keep your house brightly lit you make the job of a burglar very easy one of the easiest things you could do would be to remember to close your blinds at night and trap your light inside where you're actually using it try it you'd be surprised how much darker it keeps the outside world the next thing you'd want to do is replace your outside lights with a full cutoff motion sensor lights so that they only come on when you need them, and when they're on, they keep all that light pointed downward. Pretty soon your neighbors will notice, and once they hear how much you're saving on your power bill, they're going to follow your lead. Imagine what a lighting ordinance would do for a city like Los Angeles. Let's say they manage to reduce their lights pollution by 50%. Then suddenly, not only would they have Orion back, but they'd be able to see those dippers plainly. A sky almost as good as Yosemite National Park. I don't think this is an impossible dream. For this very summer, 2013, Paris, France will be implementing the first lighting ordinance of a multi-million population city. Isn't this something beautiful enough to fight for? If that seems like a future you'd be willing to strive for, to help make become a reality, then you too need to become a Dark Ranger. 